I'm here on Pippen's pregame with head coach Marcus McKimmy ahead of a three-game series with the lefties. We're starting to head into the second half. What does this team need to do better than they did in the first half to make a run in the second half for a playoff spot? We've got to play better. We, we've got to play more consistently. We've, uh, and, we, and more importantly than that, it, it'll help take care of some of that. We just have to play smarter and, and with a little more emotion. I mean, baseball's not to be bent, uh, isn't meant to be played in the library. Okay, some one thing that we've talked with our guys about, um, we've said it a couple times on pregame. You know, we, we do have a young group, but uh, from a from a pitching side, I think that we're actually even deeper than we were last year, um, which you know only matters in in the fact that that was a playoff team, and and I I've always thought that this team could be a playoff team. I mean, our expectations are always high. Uh, there has to be a jump that that's made, but we just have to play better. And and starting day one today, it's a 27 game pennant race, and that's how we're going to attack it. Nick DiCarlo went two for four in the last game of the series against Wenatchee playing first base. He's played every single infield position this season. How important has that versatility been for the team? He's not the only guy that's been been versatile. He's probably been the been the leader of that, right? Uh, and, and he actually had a had an option to, to start in the outfield one game, and it didn't work itself out that way. But he's he's going to play all over. We've got a lot of guys that that were we've asked to to play in different spots, and as we uh, shore up exactly what our what we think our best lineup will be as a coaching staff which uh, I, I think that we've 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 got that in mind here uh, pretty closely as we go forward you know Nick's going to be a, a big part of that and that's that's all he cares about he's a winner he's going to do whatever it takes to help the team win and as we've kind of progressed to this point you know if we can find nine of those guys uh, we, we'll be we'll be just fine. Elijah Green had a triple and another infield single in that game against Wenatchee. What has he been working on at the plate? Elijah's just getting getting more reps. He's he's figuring out uh, what it takes to hit against left-handed left-handed pitching. You know, as a left-handed batter, uh, that's that's been a, a work on and a build on for him. And he's 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 figuring it out, which we're excited about, especially because he's figuring it out quicker than we expected. Um, you know, just just on, on that note alone. Um, it's about getting better every day. The lefties lead the league in home runs by a pretty wide margin. What does the pitching staff need to do to, to hold down this offense? Well, don't, don't allow free bases. Uh, home runs only count as one unless there's guys on base. And, you know, for, for this club, we've, we've got a specific game plan that we think uh, can work. But, you know, in theory, uh, it's, it's about execution and it's about, you know, uh, really buying into that game plan and and you got to you got to play nine innings so uh, for us it's, yeah it's a it's a smaller park than than probably anywhere else in the league um, but you, you play the games on your schedule and and for us uh, we're, we're not concerned about uh, what what they necessarily do well it's about us doing what we do well well right uh, and and you know we've got Chase Farrell on the mound tonight I'll, I'll put him up against anybody in the league and and we, we've got to find a way to score more runs than them. It's that simple. All right, Pippins take on the lefties in game one of the series. First pitch at 635.